despite these challenges, you have stood up and upheld the fundamental principles that binds all of us Filipinos, a mutual respect for life, for dignity, and for community. Kailanman ay hindi tayo magpapasupil at magpapaapi kahit na kanino man. Today, as your Commander-in-Chief, I have never been prouder of the brave women, men, and not just the West Command, Western Command, but the entire armed forces as I am today. I salute the 80 officers and troops who sailed the waters and exercised the greatest restraint amidst intense provocation. You demonstrated to the world that the Filipino spirit is one that is brave, determined, and yet is compassionate. I reassure you that you have the entire nation behind you, praying for your safety, praying for your success. The Filipino people is grateful for your dedicated service and to the families that support you. Let me, of course, mention Seaman First Class Underwater Operator Jeffrey Facundo, who was harmed and was injured in the recent incident. So as we award these medals, we remember that on June the 17th, we made a conscious and deliberate choice to remain in the path of peace. The government will continue to provide all your needs and look after your welfare and your family's welfare. Kayo ang halimbawa ng isang bagong Pilipinas. Kayo ay isa sa aming inspirasyon para lalo pang pagbutihin ang aming sinumpang tungkulin. by the Department of National Defense Secretary Gilbert Chodoro, National Security Advisor Secretary Eduardo Año, and Department of Foreign Affairs Acting Secretary Maria Teresa Lazaro to discuss developments related to the resupply mission incident in the Ayungin Shoal involving the armed forces of the Philippines and China Coast Guard. Good afternoon, Secretary Teodoro, Secretary Año, and Acting Secretary Lazaro. Let's start with Secretary Tudoro, sir. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we call this uh, press conference today to update you uh, with events from the President's visit to the Western Command of the Armed Forces of the Philippines in Palawan yesterday. After his talk to the troops, uh, more, spe more specifically also to the members of the WESCOM who conducted the RORE mission to Ayungin Shoal last June 17. The President gave his commitment and resolve to support our dedicated and courageous men and women in the armed forces in their fight to defend our territory. As he mentioned in his speech yesterday, and I quote, history itself can tell that we have never, never in the Philippines yielded to any foreign power. We owe to our forefathers the duty to keep the freedoms that they fought, bled, and died for, and that they presently enjoy. Kailanman ay hindi tayo magpapasupil at magpapaapi kahit sa kanino man. We would also like to categorically state that our policy in the West Philippine Sea has not changed. 
As declared by the President in numerous instances, we will not give up an inch, not even a millimeter of our territory to any foreign power. We will continue to defend our territory and exercise sovereign rights thereon as we see fit. We reiterate that we seek neither permission nor consent from anyone in performing our sworn duties in the West Philippine Sea. In this regard, we will continue our rotation and resupply missions on a regular basis. The welfare of our troops in the uh, BRP Sierra Madre being a matter of utmost importance. The President has reiterated that we will not publish schedules of any Rore. We see the latest incident in Ayungin not as a misunderstanding or an accident. It is a deliberate act of the Chinese officialdom to prevent us from completing our mission. After our visit to our troops in Palawan yesterday, where the President personally <coughs> talked to the troops involved in the Rore, we have now come to, an to the conclusion that it was not a misunderstanding or an accident. We are not downplaying the incident. It was an aggressive and illegal use of force. We, however, continue to find peaceful solutions to this issue. It's pointed out by the President, and I quote, we are not in the business to instigate wars. The Philippines is a responsible state. We will continue to exercise our freedoms and rights in support of our national interest in accordance with international law, unquote. The President was inspired by the bravery and commitment of our soldiers in Westcom. And they can be assured of the entire support of the armed forces and this administration in carrying out their duties to protect our territorial integrity, sovereignty, and sovereign rights. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Teodoro. We have room for questions, starting with uh, Chona Yu, People's Journal. Hello? It's, it's on. Uh, sir, uh, during the meet and greet kahapon, what is the sentiment ng mga sundalo na nakamiting kahapon ni Pangulong Marcos sa Palawan? I can with unequivocally state, masasabi ko na mataas ang moral ng ating mga sundalo sa harap nitong mga hamon na ito, lalo silang uh, na-inspire at pag nila ang pagpapatupad uh, ng kanilang mga duties. At ang bisita ng ating Pangulo kahapon ay nagsemento ng kanilang moral. Nalaman ni Presidente ang, ang totoong pangyayari na interview niya isa't isa. Nalaman din niya ang kondisyon nila ngayon. Uh, some have injuries na kahalubilo niya, hindi lamang yung uh, na-injure ko, hindi kanilang mga pamilya. At uh, masasabi ko ulit na ha, uh, mataas ang moral uh, ng ating mga kasunduluhan. In this regard, nagpapasalamat din ako sa mga kababayan natin na patuloy ang suporta sa ating, uh, ad, sa ating Pangulo, sa kanyang policies sa West Philippine Sea at sa ating kasunduluhan. I would like to take a special mention to uh, acknowledge uh, the various business groups like Finex, Management Association of the Philippines, and the like that issued statements of support, unequivocal support. And today I would like to thank the Association of Generals and Flag Officers for issuing uh, a statement fully supporting the thrusts of this administration and praising Ginawarin ng ating Pangulo ito the professionalism and restraint in the face of uh, adversity, grave adversity by our troops. Uh, the President has said that he could not be prouder of each and every Filipino soldier. And I think 
all of us Filipinos share that sentiment. Sir? Thank oh. you, Secretary, and another, thank you, another. Chona. We move on to Alan Francisco, PTV4. Hi, Sec. Um, Senator Francis Tolentino recommends the convening of the National Security Council for or on how the government should respond in this issue. Will President Marcos convene the National Security Council or at least the Execom? Uh, thank you for your question. So at this moment, the uh, situation in Ayungin and the issues in the West Philippine Sea are effectively being managed by the National Maritime Council. In fact, uh, na rin yung National Maritime Council and acting on the direction of the President. So at this moment, uh, we are not recommending for the convening of the National Security Council. However, the President has the discretion to convene the full council or the executive committee anytime. Okay, thank you, Secretary Anyo, and thank you, Alan. Next question is Alvin Baltasar, Radio Pilipinas. Please pass the mic. Secretary, uh, good afternoon. Po. Uh, would you like to comment on several bloggers' claim that the government is selling the Philippines to the United States and putting us in the brink of uh, uh, war? And such claim, uh, Secretary, might uh, emanate from several developments such as uh, enhanced military and uh, economic agreements, as well as uh, political alignment. All right, let me quote the President first. We are not in the business to instigate wars. The Philippines is a responsible state. We will continue to exercise our freedoms and rights in support of our national interests in accordance with international law. Unquote. Now, these allegations playing fall squarely within the narrative, pumapasok ito sa narratibo ng China, na ginagamit nila itong mga propaganda lines na ito upang hindi natin patatagin ang ating sariling depensa. At bumigay tayo sa kanilang agresibong mga galaw sa West Philippine Sea. Salamat na lang sa ating mga kababayan na 95% sa kanila hindi naniniwala sa ganitong mga uh, propaganda at paratang. Sa kabila nito, lalong umiigting ang buong gobyerno sa ilalim ng ating Pangulo at ang sandatan lakas kung saan siya ay Commander-in-Chief na pagtibayin pa ang ating uh, resolve na protektahan ang ating soberaniya at uh, ang ating sovereign rights sa West Philippine Sea. Tayo ay may karapatan dyan na pangalagaan ito para sa ating mga kababayan at walang propaganda ng kahit sino man na sinasabing binebenta natin ang ating mga sarili ay uubra dito dahil maliwanag itong mga galaw ni ng gobyerno na ito ay para sa Pilipino at para sa mga susunod na henerasyon. Kaya hindi ko alam kung saan galing ang mga taong nananakot na ganito. Okay. Thank you. This is all the time we have for today. Thank you for all the questions, Malacanang Press Corps. And thank you, Secretary Teodoro. Thank you, Secretary Año and Acting Secretary Lazaro.